Hi, George Martin here with Tennis Ring Body. And today we're going to be working on Jorge with Top Spin. Yes, I said Top Spin. I know I've been working on Top Spin or Spin for the last few videos, but I'm going to refine what's going on in the forehand today so that you can understand more about how to actually learn and practice it. Okay? So stick to it, stay with us, and please subscribe share and like my channel. By the way, I want to thank everybody who has signed up so far. The Tennis for the Body family is growing considerably. So, let's get to it. going to be hitting top spin which is at basic level so a basic top spin you're going to go up and under and roll the ball in an advanced spin you're going to be using the friction and dragging the ball up with your strings to finish and make the swing happen with all this information that I'm getting that it's going to help me learn to handle the movement of the ball so much better thank you coach George One very important element in the forehand, the elbow must bend, which allows in a basic forehand, the back of the hand to reach the back of the neck, and in the advanced forehand, allows the back of the hand or the hand to go around the body. Whether it's an open stance, which in this case it is, or a closed stance, the action still is the same when applied to the ball. You'll notice that in the advanced top spin, the racket is actually making contact with the mid to upper portion of the ball, dragging it upward, causing it to roll end over end and clear the height of the neck. When hitting an inside out forehand, you'll move to the left and hit the inside of the ball so it goes to the outside of the corner. The advanced spins can be hit whether the ball is on the way up or the way down. Even if the ball is hit out of the air without it bouncing, the advanced spins still can apply and be very effective in match play. When hitting spin on a high ball, the racket actually moves across the ball, causing it to have a diagonal roll on it. This diagonal spin still causes the ball to curve downward, but also kind of an inside out curve as well. One way to learn this feeling is to move inside the service line, put the ball on the racket strings, and then move your racket sideways across and around your body. You'll feel the ball roll off sideways as you see here in this video. When hitting a low ball with top spin, it frequently creates a diagonal side spin, but from the lower end upward, causing the ball to curve 
from outside to inside as well as down. You'll see the ball has a diagonal spin making it curve in that manner. First of all, let me explain. The ball is round. There is no flat ball. When the ball gets hit every time, the ball has some kind of roll or movement on it. Saying that, if you start below the ball and go up, the ball will roll off your strings as you see it happening here. The slower you do it, the more you'll feel it and see the action actually happen. Being that it is rolling, you need to hit below the middle of the ball and roll upward, as you see happening here on the eye coach. What this will do is cause the ball to have an arc. In the past, the term flat really demonstrated or depicted a ball that was hit more of like on a clothesline or straight, even though straight balls had a side spin at minimum to it. Okay, so realize the term flat really means straight. And what we want to do is have a ball that has a curve on it. That's why we want it to roll. Every ball sport, soccer, golf, basketball, baseball, even football, the ball is controlled by the roll or the spiral or the spin that is imparted on the ball. You can look at it as addressing the ball a certain way, whether it means hitting it straight on or rolling upward on the ball. Okay, so I hope that clarifies a lot more. You'll see a lot of these hits happening here on the eye coach, so you can see the ball spinning in slow motion. If you look at the hits that are live in slow motion, you'll also see that they have a rolling effect, which is actually the spin that is being talked about in the game of tennis. One way to get a feeling for this is to move a little closer to the net, put the ball on the strings, and lift up and roll it off your strings, as you see happening here. You will feel the ball rolling on your strings, which is actually topspin. Another alternative to feeling the ball roll on your strings is to purchase an eye coach, E Y E C O A C H. You can get them on Amazon. It will also help you feel the movement of the ball rolling. All this spin. Oh my goodness. Really? Did I do that? I hope he's helping you guys like he's helping me. <laughs> 